Hey guys, thanks for checking this out. I know a lot of you are wondering, what does this guy do all day long? Does he just sit up on the mountaintop and meditate and manifest things, or does he actually work? Well, I actually do work. My service company, what we do is we help people keep the power on when the utility company can't. And we do that with standby power generators. So we sell, service, and install power generation equipment for residential all the way up to uh, medium-sized commercial, and we service large commercial generators. Today we're going to install this 22KW Generac at this residence, and uh, we're going to get started for the day. Check it out, guys. Hey guys, we're about halfway through the day with this generator installation. We've already got the transfer switch wired in. The utility company has already been here to shut off the power for us to take care of that. We fixed a fitting at the bottom of the meter box that was cracked. Um, got that all up and going, ready for the customer. Transfer switch is installed, power's back onto the panel inside. Now we just need to do the wiring between the generator and the transfer switch. By the end of the day, we'll be out of here. And uh, at this point, we were about four hours in. This is usually about an eight to ten hour project with uh, an electrician, a gas plumber, and a helper. Um, in this case, the propane company is doing the gas work for us, so we're just taking care of the electrical work. So we'll have about eight hours into this by the time we're done, and we'll uh, have it wrapped up here shortly. Thanks for checking it out, guys. Hey guys, what's up? One of the most common misconceptions we get is that a generator hookup is real quick. It's in and out, it's simple. People often don't understand why the cost involved with the generator hookup. And there's a lot to it, from the electrical connections to the propane, natural gas, and we need to be up on all these codes, the gas codes, the electrical codes, the municipal codes, the building codes, and that's just part of it. Oftentimes people come out when we're in the middle of this and they see all these wires. And they say, what do you know what to do? How do you know how do you know what to do with all these wires? Well, each one of them has a purpose. And anybody that installs these for a living, we know what these wires do based on their colors. And they all get landed somewhere, they all go to a very specific spot. So this is just part of what we do, part of the installation process, guys, and uh, we'll keep going with this and get it wrapped up here shortly. Thanks. Hey guys, we're about seven hours into this installation, a 22KW Generac standby generator. The next step, the propane company will come out to hook up their fuel source. After that, we do an electrical inspection and then a startup and a live test on this system. Hope you found some value here. If you have any questions regarding backup power generators, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you out regardless of where you purchased your generator. Thanks a lot. Take care.